Eric Mwade with another brief educational video in response to an Indian stock and so this is the name of the company and we're gonna go look at the requirements for the ultimate Mwade breakout and also a little bit of a discussion on how to time stocks when they are moving higher so we take a look at the stock here we're looking at a three-year monthly chart and what I want to discuss here is the stock has previously moved to three-year highs as you can see here it did this in I believe sometime in uh, March April or May of 2014 at the same time it was breaking out above the prior monthly closing high so your entry level was here after you had had one month of rest so one month of rest during this month here and then the subsequent buy signal is when the stock moves above the previous monthly closing high so we have one entry there the stock would go on to have a nice run and eventually made a high here just above 36 and had one down month and you can see there was a down month here so what you do you set an alert for the next time it moves above the previous monthly closing high and you can see that on this subsequent month here it did not necessarily close above that but it finally broke out here which would have been sometime in September so September was a breakout and the entry level was at about just above 36 so that's your entry level as of right now you can see the stock has had two nice monthly gains and we haven't seen any rest period you can also see that during this breakout here there was a move to 69.1 and also a move to three-year highs all-time highs on the monthly RSI so the stock did meet the minimum requirements so the question is is it a buy now the one thing you have to consider when timing stocks is and I'm gonna include a video link for another discussion on how to time stocks that are moving higher is you have to go to the smaller time frames you can see here on the monthly that there's no rest we need a monthly rest if you're gonna use the monthly charts for entry keep note that the stock is holding above 69.1 so the momentum continues to be in the name so if we forward this and go back and take a look at the two-year weekly you can see here that we've had multiple breakouts there was a breakout here after some rest period and your entry level was the previous weekly closing high there was a high made there and a subsequent breakout that was unsuccessful so I need to stress that there was a breakout here that subsequently failed and you need to be stopped out somewhere here and what you do is you adjust and move your next buy point to this closing high there and so that becomes a new buy point and in the future when the stock moves above that range you want to be a buyer here and unless you are stopped out after entry here you want to own the stock you know for a while you can see that recently there was another entry level which was somewhere at this closing high there was about two weeks of rest which is the minimum requirement and then finally broke out there so it's had three weeks of gain since the breakout so in terms of a weekly timing aspect the stock is not a buy because the most recent breakout after a rest was here and why do you need a rest because stocks can only move with power after they've had some congestion period digestion period and a period of rest you wanna own stocks that have rested before they start moving and so as of right now we see that the stock is still continuing on a run and there's no new entry level so to answer your question if the stock is a buy at current levels here I would say no because the breakout already took place three weeks ago again I'm gonna include a video link that will explain into detail how you can use the weekly and the daily charts for timing whenever a stock is already moving higher and especially when it's having multiple breakout levels. Eric Moore, the good luck, peace and a blessings. Woo!